Welcome to the Medical Council of Canada Qualifying Exam Part 1. This video will provide a demonstration of the exam experience. This includes a walkthrough of the exam and the tools available. When your exam session starts, you will log in and then you must agree to the non-disclosure agreement to take the exam. Next, you will be presented with the tutorial explaining how to complete the multiple choice question section and clinical decision making section of the exam and the tools that are available to you. When you have finished the tutorial, click the start the test button. After viewing the MCC security video, which highlights important information on maintaining the confidentiality of exam content, you can proceed to the multiple choice section. In the morning session, you will be presented with 210 multiple choice questions. To complete each multiple choice question, click on the option that you believe to be the best response. Once selected, the option will appear darker in colour. To change your response, click on a different option. If you would like to deselect a chosen option, click on it a second time. Some questions may contain images. To view an image, click on the image button. Depending on the size of the image, you may have the ability to zoom in or out using the tools provided. To hide the controls, click on the Hide Zoom Controls link. You can highlight text in the question stem that you may want to refer to as you progress through the exam. You can also strike out options that you want to eliminate from consideration. Right click on an option to strike it out. Right click again to remove the strike out. Left click on a struck out option to select it as your response. You can flag a question as a reminder to go back and check your answer or attempt it later. To flag a question, click on the flag button displayed and it will show a flag icon on the numbered button. Click on the flag button again to remove the indicator. You can use a calculator on every question in the exam. This calculator works like a calculator found in Microsoft Windows or any regular calculator. Located in the top right of the screen, the progress bar will indicate the percentage of questions you have completed as you answer questions. Once this reaches 100%, you will have attempted all questions within both sections in the exam for the day. To progress through the exam, click the next button to move to the next page or question. Click the back button to move to the previous page or question. Or you can use the numbered buttons on the left to move from question to question. These numbered buttons change in appearance to indicate different question states. Current, complete, incomplete and flagged. An arrow shaped number button indicates the current question. For all completed questions, the numbered button will appear darker in colour. For all incomplete questions, the numbered button will remain the original colour. The grid icon allows you to review the status of all questions for that section. You can filter your view by unattempted, attempted and flagged questions. The section review can be locked in place using the padlock icon and closed using the X icon. To navigate directly to a question, click the corresponding numbered icon. You can view the tutorial and exam instructions at any time by clicking on the question mark icon. Time spent revisiting these pages will be deducted from your overall exam time. Click on the continue the test button to return to your exam. Once you are satisfied with your responses, click the finish section button. Once you click on this button, your answers will be submitted and you cannot return to the multiple choice questions. A pop-up message will ask you to confirm if you want to proceed. You will see these confirmation messages appear as you complete each section of the exam. After the multiple choice section, you will be presented with a short optional survey asking you to rate and comment on the exam experience. We welcome any comments on the exam content or any other aspects of the exam you'd like to provide feedback on. After the survey section and a mandatory 45 minute lunch break, you will start the clinical decision making section of the exam, consisting of 38 cases with one or more short menu and or write-in questions. The scenario text for the case will appear on the left hand side of the screen in PDF format. To complete the case questions, you will need to read this scenario text first. Short menu questions can have up to 30 options to select from, and can have more than one correct answer. You may need to scroll down on the page to see all options for the short menu question. 
To complete each short menu question, click on the options that you believe to be the correct responses. Once selected, the options will be shaded darker in colour. To deselect an option, click on the same option again. The question will indicate how many responses are expected, but will not restrict you from providing more responses than are required. You can highlight question text and strike out options for questions in this section. Write-in questions also have one or more correct answers. You must only provide one answer per text box. Information on what constitutes one answer for a write-in can be found on the CDM instructions page in the tutorial, as well as on the mcc.ca website. Responses must be concise as each text box has a limit of 99 characters. Write-in questions may have up to 10 text boxes. You can move between questions and cases in this section by using the navigation buttons or by clicking the next and back buttons. You can review the status of all questions in the clinical decision making section by clicking on the grid icon. Like the multiple choice question section, your progress can be tracked by referring to the progress bar. Pop-up warnings will display when you start to near the end of the time available to complete that section of the exam. Once you are satisfied with your responses, click Finish section. Your answers will be submitted and you cannot go back to make any changes. You will then be asked to complete a short survey on the CDM component of the exam. The Medical Council of Canada would like to wish you the best in your upcoming exam. For further information on our MCCQE Part 1 and for other preparation resources, please visit our website at mcc.ca.